So congratulations on your very successful day at the office. Oh, well, Alan was just being kind, I think. You know, Philip had to pull a lot of strings, not only to bring you here, but to give you that job. And I'm very grateful. But I gather there's another reason you're bringing it up. Well, Alan retired. And he handed the business over to Philip, but it seems that recently he's decided that he really misses controlling everything. Ah, well, I assure you, I won't forget who my friends are. Look, uh, Drew, she's, she's feeling a little, uh, out of spirit. I'm gonna take her home. No, no, no. Oh. I knew. I should have known. I should have known this was going to be hard on her tonight. Where is she? Maybe I should go talk to her. I don't think it's going to make a difference this time. You know, I mean, to tell you the truth, I've never seen her like this. What do you mean? I mean, she's not angry or upset or anything. She, she's like... A light turned off inside of her. Lots of folks in Springfield weren't expecting anything out of the ordinary that year. But the spirit of Christmas, it just has a way of finding people when you really need it. Helping you to see what's important. What's right in front of you. Josh is here. I don't think this is really a good time. I just want to give you a present. I don't need a present from you. I think you do. So glad you're here, RJ. It just wouldn't be Christmas if we weren't together. Reva! Tammy! You, you're beautiful! Look at you! You know what? I have your favorite fudge in the other room. You do? Yes, I do. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Please, eat. I have so much food. There's cakes and pies and a big turkey. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't close the door. Uh, some some uh, food. Nice food. Hi, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry I'm Christmas. so glad you guys came. Nice. I wanted to be here to sing my first Christmas carol. Oh, I can't wait, Abigail. And I hope that it's okay that we didn't call before we came over. Call? What have you ever called? We never called. <laughs> Never. Where's your Santa suit? The one you inherited from Ed. No, he's no, not he's lying. lying. He is lying. He's yes. out in the car and he was waiting for you to ask him. Well, ho, ho. Out. Well, as Rusty would say, ho, ho, ho. Uh, come on, let's oh, go inside. Oh, it's cold out here. Ho, 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 ho. Mara, Shane, look who's here. Hey. That was a nice thing you did for Reva. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Joss. Merry Christmas. It was an unexpected gift from an unexpected place. And it wouldn't be the last one to happen in Springfield that year. Someone else was about to receive something they never expected. Never in their wildest dreams. There are all kinds of gifts in this world, but the greatest one... What do you guys think? Love? Okay. Love? love? I think it's love. Giving love. Or getting out of the way of love. Come on, Michelle. Frank, what is this? Is this a trick? What's going on? Now this will all become very clear to you shortly. Please tell me why you're doing this. You just do me a favor and just go inside. No, not until you tell Michelle? me what's going on. Michelle. What are you doing here? Frank arranged it so that we could spend the night together. He had to arrest me to pull it off. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he really put himself on the line and, and broke a lot of rules to do this for us. And apparently Rick and Abby are in on it, too. Uh... <laughs> Listen, it, uh, this is a completely legitimate prisoner transfer. Don't worry about it. And the place is being watched, so... Well, for the next 12 hours, just consider yourselves... house arrest. Do <laughs> you understand this. me, Thank right? you so much. All right, Frank. all right. Just Thank don't make so me much. regret this. I and, won't. Uh, I won't. Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas. <sighs> unexpected gifts from unexpected places. There were a lot of them that night. But there was also someone feeling quite alone. Someone in need of a real Christmas miracle. Oh, God, give me the strength to do this. Okay. 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 You can do this. You can do this. Just concentrate. Just breathe. Breathe. There. 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 Okay. 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 Is this a bad? Ah. You were going to do this, and you're going to be all right, okay? okay. I'm not going to leave. I'm here. Okay. Here. It was the night before Christmas in Springfield. A night filled with unexpected miracles and gifts and the birth of a child. And one needed to be put to bed. And that's it. Good night to everybody. Merry Christmas to That was beautiful. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. <laughs> Can I help put the kids to bed? Oh, please. It wasn't too long ago when I was helping put you to bed. Sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Good night. Night. Listen, when the holiday season is over, I want us to get together and brainstorm about the Spalding project in San Cristobal. I also, Edmund, want to get your ideas on how you think the direction be with Spaulding in the new millennium. My pleasure. I'm not for sure what's going on with my son. He seems to have lost his fear. Perhaps, perhaps it was the accident. He's a wonderful wife, beautiful child, and he's realized how important they are to him and how he'll do anything to keep them together. Anything. I'd like to propose... A, I'd like to propose a toast, if I may. To my hosts and my new business associates and everyone I've met tonight. A Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Anybody here? I was <laughs> Anybody really here? starting to give up on you. And you are... <laughs> Pop? Where's Selena? I uh, just saw her in the hall, actually. Yeah, yeah, she... Hey, um, give her, give her, give her oh. your son a kiss. A Merry Christmas. Was upset, so Selena went out to talk to her. You know how hard the holidays are when yeah. you're missing somebody. You just gotta do your best, I guess. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about Mommy today. Oh. I know. I was thinking about all the Christmases that we've missed and all the ones we will miss. And I was thinking about our meeting our grandchildren and knowing them and loving them. And I was just thinking about her every time I go back to buy those, like, gaudy jewelry stores. <laughs> you know, the big earrings that she always used to get. Yeah, I still for Frank, the hurt will her. never stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Drew, I mean, it's also recent for her. I don't know. What do you give people when what they need is... Hope. Mm -hmm. Drew, baby, are you okay? Jesse, can you give us a minute, please? Sure. Oh, my sweethearts. I know you're sad. And I know that the world might look like a pretty bleak place right now. Mom, I'm sorry. I don't want to put this on you. No. I just, I want to go home. No, honey, wait. Just wait one second, please. Look, I, I know your birthday's not officially until tomorrow, but there is something I really want to do. I'd really like to give you a present right now, if it's okay with you. 